Today I'm going to tell you how to transfer a domain name. I just barely did it for my new site, IncomeSchool.com. And so first you have to find somebody that you want to buy the domain name from. This is if it's an already existing domain name. So if it's not registered, you can just go to GoDaddy or Bluehost, wherever you go to, just pay $9.99 and you got your domain. That's easy. But if somebody already bought it and you want to negotiate with them to purchase it, then this is the process you'd go through to transfer a domain name. Well, the first thing you need to do is contact the person who has it. Sometimes you'll go to the website um, and it'll say this domain is for sale. Somebody who just thought, hey, this is a cool name. I'm going to buy it. Eventually, somebody's going to want to get it from me. And I, that's what I did. I came to IncomeSchool.com, thought it was a cool name, saw that, bought it. Um, and, then I and then the way that you contact the person is you do a who is search. So if you just Google who is, the one I like to use is from NetworkedSolutions.com. And you just say, hey, who is it that owns IncomeSchool.com? And you search, and it's usually going to bring up a CAPTCHA. Oh, okay, it just brought it right up. So this is the information of the person that owns it. Jim Harmer, hey, that's me. And um, then you can just call the person directly that owns it, email them. I like to call the person because people who own websites get a lot of fake uh, messages like this. I want to buy your domain, etc. So you're going to have to contact the person, then you'll negotiate, buy it. Uh, on what the purchase price is. Then from there, they're going to have to go into their dashboard on their wherever they have wherever they have the domain hosted, and they probably know how to do this if they uh, are the kind of person that buys uh, domains. They're going to have to go into the domain and unlock it. So if we want to come into this domain, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go to my cPanel. Let's go into the cPanel. This is in Bluehost, but it's going to really look the same uh, with others. Oops, I'm sorry. We're going to go to transfer domain. And let's say I want to transfer incomeschool.com. And what I'll do is I'll basically come on here and I'll unlock it. There will just be a lock, and I'll say unlock. And then when you do unlock it, it's going to give you an EPP code. Um, and that code you're going to need to give to the person who's buying the website. It's you know seven or eight characters long, something like that. And then they go to their host, and uh, they go to you know GoDaddy, wherever they're going to buy, have the domain registered. And they'll go to domain names and transfers. And they'll type in the domain that they want to get. And then if GoDaddy sees that domain's unlocked, then it continue. It's going to ask for the EPP code, that long code. And then when you say, OK, this is it, then it's going to email the person who has the who is information right now and say, hey, there was a request to transfer this domain. You are the registered person is owning it right now. So here's the user and password uh, to do that. So then you'll get that password and give it to the person who's buying it so they can come in here, type in the username and password, and go. Now, after that, there's a seven-day waiting period if you're transferring between registrars. So what I've found is if you have your domain at like one and one, then it can take a long time. When I'm on Bluehost and I transfer to GoDaddy, they must have something worked out because I can transfer that in you know literally 10 minutes and the whole thing's over there, it's ready to go. But it can be a seven day waiting period depending on which hosts you're switching between. If it's one on one to one on one, you can do it very fast. Uh, or if your companies have something worked out, you can do it very fast. Otherwise, it waits seven days to get that approval from the sending domain, the sending registrar, and then you are ready to go. You got the domain, you have full control over it, you can now lock it put things up on the site, and you're ready to go. So that's the process I've just gone through to get IncomeSchool.com. And I have it at GoDaddy, and I'm using premium hosting at Web Synthesis. I use Bluehost for my smaller sites, but when, I, when a site's going to be really big, then I use Web Synthesis because it can handle a lot of traffic. Um, so that's where I'm going to put this one because it's one where I'm going to put a lot of energy. I mean, this is going to be a big website over time, I hope. Um, 
And so I use GoDaddy f to have the domain because they do a really good job with DNS. Go, uh, Bluehost doesn't do as well with DNS, and so it can slow down the site, even if you have it on premium hosting. So that's the process I've gone through. And now let's move on to the next step of getting this site started in my next timesheet.